Hey everybody, thanks a lot for joining me for my top five, bottom five series. I think this is a fun way and kind of a challenging way to really look at a brand and think about what are your favorites and what are your least favorites. And I'm never picking on any one brand when I, you know, mention the things that I didn't like so much because I truly feel that every brand has hits and misses. And some of those products that didn't turn out to work for me may very well still work for someone else, but I'm just giving you my take on this stuff and and I think it's just kind of fun to put the focus on one brand at a time here. And NYX was definitely um, by far one of the most requested brands for this series. And it's one of the most difficult because NYX has tons of products. They're always coming out with new stuff. I like a lot of NYX products. When I get that dreaded question sometimes, like if you could only use one brand, what would it be? Um, NYX really is one of the first things that pops into my mind because they have such variety, such innovation. But really quickly before I get into this, I want to say a huge, huge thank you to those of you who have been sharing my channel with friends and family. I feel like I've heard from so many people on social media and just in comments recently who say, I shared your channel with my family and my best friend and we watch your videos together. And I just want to tell you that that fills me with such joy and such gratitude because I think there is no more um, special genuine, wonderful way for a channel to grow than for people to share it with the ones that they love. And so I just want to say thank you because nobody has to do that. You know, you, you spend time watching my videos. You don't have to comment. You don't have to thumbs it up. You don't have to share it with anybody. But um, those of you who, who do care to do that, like, I just want to say you have a special place in my heart. I've been on YouTube for a long time and I don't take that lightly. I really appreciate it. So thank you so much. Now, what you came here for, top five, bottom five, I start with the top five products and I kind of tend to work up to a number one. Um, but with a lot of these things, I gotta say for NYX, they're kind of like on the same page for me. Like I love so much of this stuff in this top five so equally, it was really hard to like place one above another product. So just keep that in mind. I really love all this stuff. Number five, I'm gonna say the high voltage lipsticks. I think this is such a great lipstick formula. So creamy absolutely super opaque and pigmented, really, really comfortable on the lips. I mean, if you've kind of been there, done that with some of the dry liquid lipsticks that are on the market, um, give these a shot because they feel completely different on your lips, but they are all the color you could hope for. Now, I'm wearing a couple of them on my lips today, and as I was thinking, which ones am I gonna talk about? Because I've got a lot of ones that I think are really gorgeous. And I thought, no, let's just narrow this down to, you know, if nobody's tried these and they were just gonna grab like, let's say three. Um, there are three that I really over and over like to mix together. So there's a nude called Mirage. Uh, great nude, very full on nude, you know, and it's not often that I wear this alone, but I love mixing it with Flutter Kiss. Uh, when I wore these two together on Snapchat, I don't think any other picture I've done has been screenshotted so many times. Like these two are gorgeous together. Um, Flutter Kiss is like that uh, kind of soft, neutral, hint of mauve type color that everybody's gaga for. And a lot of people wear it in a matte version, in a liquid lipstick. Uh, but I think it's beautiful with that little bit of shine. And these two together, like Flutter Kiss all over the lips, a little bit of Mirage in the center, it's a great combo. But if you want to have even more versatility, I would pull in the shade called Wine and Dine. I actually combined Wine and Dine and Flutter Kiss today. So Wine and Dine is kind of the berry look you're seeing on the outside. Flutter Kiss is more on the center of the lip. And so I think you've just got a lot of versatility if you had these three. Number four would be the Stay Matte But Not Flat Powder Foundation. This is an old one. I have used a lot of it. I really, really like this powder foundation. I need to get a new one. Doing a lot of reviews, I kind of feel the need to jump around and try more things once I've made my mind up about something. But this is a really fantastic powder foundation for not looking too much like powder. You know, it honestly has has a really beautiful finish on the skin. I wouldn't describe it as being glowy, but it's just, it's the kind of thing where you put it all over your skin and you turn your face and you don't feel like you're just seeing one dimensional, you know, completely matte skin. And if you've got an Ulta near you um, where you can actually get your hands on the product, uh, I encourage you to touch it, swatch it, feel how creamy it is. You know, it's a really nice smooth powder. I've worn this alone plenty of times, but I would say the way I've worn it most is even just as a standard 
standard powder to set foundation really lightly. In fact, I used, you know, the little bit around the outside to do that today on top of my foundation. And it just really reminded me how great of a product this is. Number three for me from NYX is the uh, Highlight and Contour Pro Palette. It's a nice range of contour shades that would work for a lot of different skin tones. I tend to bounce around between these two a lot. You've got, you know, shimmery highlights here and here, matte highlights to work with as well. Actually, this one has a little bit of a satiny finish to it, but I love the quality of these powders. They feel a lot like the texture of the Stay Matte But Not Flat powder foundations, you know, and they're very smooth. Even when you're using these really light shades, I don't think they give the skin a dry or chalky appearance. And another cool feature that this palette has is that these all pop out and they do sell individual pans. And I remember when I first did a review slash tutorial with this, I also used it as an eyeshadow palette. It's a great eye palette too if you like mattes and just natural shades. Don't feel confined like you can only use this on your cheeks, but just looking across the board at everything in NYX's line, this is, I think, one of the best quality products. Number two, I would have to mention the slide-on lip pencils. This was a newer thing to me. I remember just stumbling across these on their website and thinking, how long have these been around? Because I love the slide-on eye pencils too, but these just really were a game changer in my collection. They are just standard pencils that you sharpen, but they've really mastered a formula here that is supremely creamy and easy to apply and easy to fill in your, your entire lips with, but awesome staying power. They really do lock in. They could wear for the majority of the day and just come off kind of like a matte lipstick, but they're awesome to pair, you know, with your other lipsticks that you have in your collection. And if I had to narrow it down to just a couple of shades that I think are must-haves, I love this one called Nude Suede Shoes. It's a nude with like a hint of pink to it. I think it really makes it mesh well with just the natural tone of your lips. Filling in your entire lips with this shade and wearing it underneath your favorite nude lipstick or gloss will really enhance the staying power. Another shade that I really think works great is called Dark Soul and I love this because I think it works well with pretty much anything on the berry end whether it's a medium kind of more pinky berry all the way to the darker shade. The formula is great it's really just up to you what colors you need but those are a couple that I find myself using the most. And like I was saying before a lot of the products in this top five are all just way up there for me they're all nearly equal but a number one that I'm going to name in this video are the Avant pop eyeshadows. I think NYX took it to the next level with this formula. They are really, really smooth, buttery, awesome feeling eyeshadows. And NYX is a brand that I think is working with multiple eyeshadow formulas. I really love like their super metallic um, prismatic singles. They've got some larger palettes that can be a little more hit and miss with the quality within those. They've got some other like six color palettes on the market that I feel like are a completely different formula. But what they've got going on in these particular palettes is something special and I hope it spreads and I hope this is what they continue to create shadows with. Whatever the recipe is in these palettes, it's working. And um, I am wearing one of these today. I'm using the one called Art Throb. And you know, this has some really bright, intense shades. I am wearing, as you might guess, um, a combo of these two shades in the crease. And I really just wanted it to be soft. I didn't want to go like full on with those colors today. I just wanted that little like kind of seafoam green out action up there and I think I got it. And then on the lower lash line I've got some of this um, kind of shimmery berry shade and it kind of coordinates with the lips a bit and I love it. I just love how all the colors are definitely what you see is what you get. I mean this silver get out of town. You know, could it be any better? No. And if you're saying, yeah, I like the idea of that kind of quality, but I'm a neutral person, the one in Nouveau Chic is just dynamite. I love peach and plum. It gives you that. It gives you some greens, some kind of steely bluish shades and lilac. I love. And then the third one is called Surreal My Heart. Very cool. Um, still has a couple of bright pops, but there are some really cool neutrals in that one. And I just also want to mention that the go-to palettes, these came out right around the same time as the Avant Pop palettes and they look like this. Um, and these also, I think, have that very same formula. Very soft to the touch, creamy, pigmented, what you see is what you get types of shadows. Plus they've put in bronzer slash contour, blush, and highlight 
phenomenal highlights in these palettes. Now when I work on these videos I kind of tend to make a big list of the things I like and the things I don't like and then I really try to pare it down to get that top five. But I just wanted to let you know what was going through my head um, as additional products that I really really like from NYX because like I said NYX has a huge line, very hard to narrow it down to five, but some other things that I really really like, the Micro Brow Pencil, just did a video on that comparing it to the Anastasia Brow Wiz. If you're in to the ash brown, very cool brown colors. I do think that that's a dupe for medium brown. I love the Control Freak Brow Gel. One of the best brow gels on the market for great hold. Um, it's not one of those exciting products that's always going to like just grab your attention. Ah, brow gel, but it is really good. I also like the Tinted Brow Mascara. That has great hold as well. Comes in a variety of shades. The Intense Butter Glosses. Love that formula. They smell great. They look great. Really shiny. Very vivid. And I love the Ombre Lip Duos as well, which are kind of like a chubby stick with a liner on the other end. Let's move on to the bottom five. Uh, number five, I would say, is this HD Studio Photogenic Primer. Um, NYX has a full line of foundations in this HD photogenic line, and they're decent foundations. They would probably fall somewhere in the middle for me between a top five and a bottom five. Um, but this primer, I've been using it again and again, and it's just a, a white primer. I don't feel like it does anything special for my skin in terms of brightening. It's also not especially doing anything for the texture either. I remember using this the other day and thinking, all right, it just left kind of a sticky film on my skin before applying the foundation. But a big way that I think my skin benefits from a primer is one that is going to even out the surface of my skin, make it feel very uniform and smooth, so that foundation can go on very, very evenly. And as a result, last longer because the application was able to be just so even and smooth, you know? That's what a good primer does for me. This one, it just kind of felt sticky, patchy. I don't get the point. No Number four for me would be these um, six color eye palettes. Uh, they've got different names like Adorable, and this one says Smoky, and this one says Sex Bomb. I'm not saying decent looks can't be achieved with these. I mean, obviously you put on a primer, the shadows will stick better, they may stand out a little bit more, but I think NYX has just improved leaps and bounds since the release of these palettes. And one other thing, like the color selection on the Smoky, I know I've complained about this before, but it's a bunch of dark shades that end up looking identical on the eyes. The plum looks like the navy, which looks like the black, which looks like the charcoal, because they all just look kind of dark and dusky on the eyes, and that's fine for a dark eye, but if you were thinking you were going to get plum or navy, the shades just don't stand out enough. Number three product that I would not recommend from NYX would be the Baked Blushes. I have one here in the shade Chiffon. I think I had one or two pink shades in the past as well. These are just blushes that, like, if you've got a feeling in your head of what a baked blush is going to feel like. You might expect it to be kind of dry, kind of chalky. That is what these feel like. Some baked blushes really surprise you and you touch them and you're like, wow, it's so smooth and creamy. CoverGirl put out one, I think in their True Blend line, a really nice blush. It looks like the baked style, but it feels amazing. And this just has that dry, kind of light, chalky, just dusted away type feeling. On the other end of the spectrum, NYX has some really nice individual HD blushes, which I would recommend if you want to buy a blush from NYX, but these not so much. My number two least favorite favorite product from NYX would have to be the Soft Focus Primer. This is a new-ish product that they've put out, and it's kind of like, um, I don't know, it feels like a balm type thing, but it is creamy, and there's a sponge. But as I try to get my sponge in there and really pick some up and just dab into it, it's like the product kind of balls up, like it doesn't know what to do, it doesn't really cling onto the sponge, and that in turn, you know, you don't feel like you're getting a lot on your face. So the times I've used this, I've gone in with my finger and just kind of started dabbing it around on my face, but then I found it very hard to get an even application. When you put it on, your foundation on top of it does not look good. Like, if this gets into any dry areas around the under eye, I felt like my foundation was clinging there even more. It's kind of the feel of a product that's going to go crazy cream to powder, but it never really gets there and just stays a little bit tacky, and I just don't like that feel for a primer. And the not-so-coveted spot of number one most disliked product from the line would have to be this cream highlight and contour palette. Um, brands are coming out with cream contouring stuff left and right, and sadly, NYX's falls way short for me because it's just 
to dry. I feel like the shades are right on the money. You know, I look at this and think that's a nice cool tone. You're getting this kind of pale yellow, you know, highlight brightener type thing and then something with a little bit of shimmer and they are all just so darn dry. They pull, they tug across the skin. I don't care whether you're using a dampened blender sponge with this or a brush. It just, it's a struggle to use and there are too many other good things on the market that are going to cost you less. Like Elf's got cream contouring stuff, for example, that works really well. This just missed the mark for me. And that is it. That is my top five, bottom five from NYX. Um, on the bright side of things, I have many more things from NYX that I love than products I didn't like. That was a much longer list that I was making. But like I said, every brand's got hits and misses. I would love to hear what brand you would like to see featured next time in this series. And let me know what you love and don't love from NYX in the comments section below. Thank you for watching. Thank you for your time and I'll see you next time. Bye.